Hi guys, so we're the Mare Marauders. Um, we did a booth on campus um, with Gift of Life. So we, what is Gift of Life? Gift of Life is an organization that helps find donors for the National and International Bone Marrow Registry to help cancer patient and cancer patients and other blood disease patients. Yeah, so we are pretty much trying to um, save a life. So the way that we do it, we pretty much swab, um, or people um, come to our booth and um, they swab their cheeks and they enter this registry. So um, with swabbing their cheeks, they go through some different testings and stuff to see if you might be a potential match to save someone's life. We got <laughs> eight swabs at our booth. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> and um, so hopefully they'll be put in a registry in about a month after all the testing is done on their swab. And then hopefully one of them or all of them will be a life-saving match. Yeah. <laughs> like we both did it and even though it might not sound like something a lot of people would be interested in right away if you like take the time to look into it it's something that you can dedicate a part of yourself to without dedicating your whole self and even just that little bit can work toward a better future for somebody else who wouldn't have that option otherwise yeah all right guys so that's a little bit of what we did for our community service and with our community partner. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Julia Lawler and I'm a recruitment specialist at Gift of Life Mara Registry. Uh, today I'll be answering some questions about Gift of Life and our mission and working here. So 
The first question is, can you explain the Gift of Life organization as well as the mission? Sure, so Gift of Life is a nonprofit. We are an international stem cell and bone marrow registry whose sole purpose is to find life-saving matches for those suffering blood disorders such as leukemia, lymphoma, and sickle cell and other genetic disorders. So what we are really trying to do is adding more people to the registry. The more people on the registry, the more matches for those patients that need it, um, all those stem cell and bone marrow transplants. The next question is, what's your favorite part about Gift of Life? It's the easiest way to save a life, um, and I love everything about it. My favorite part would definitely be seeing the impact that we have, so being able to see that donor-recipient meeting, um, I've seen a few, is there's no feeling in the world quite like it, and seeing that every swab really counts, so every Every hour I go into work, every volunteer I work with, every student I work with um, could potentially save a life is the coolest feeling in the world. And that's definitely what I like the most about working here in general and just being involved with Gift of Life is seeing my impact firsthand um, and just spreading as much hope as possible for those patients that need it. The next question is, have you witnessed someone's life being saved because of this organization? Yes, um, we have just as an organization hit over 4,000 transplants, so 4,000 lives saved. I myself um, had a transplant from a drive I facilitated, um, as well as I have seen two donor recipient meetings um, since I started working here, which is an incredibly powerful um, experience, being able to speak with someone who's Life was, life was saved by someone, um, just a random stranger, and then, then being able to meet and really see the impact they both had on each other is the most incredible thing um, I have ever witnessed in my life. The next question is, why do you think race plays a big role in the percentage able to find a matching donor? So this is actually very interesting. A match is most likely found with someone from the same racial and ethnic background as the patient. So there is just not enough representation on the um, registry for everyone to find a match that they need to. So the disparities are really clear um, when it comes to different racial and ethnic groups. So diversifying the registry will find more matches in general and also for those patients who are not as well represented on the registry. So for me, I decided to work with the Gift of Life because like most students at FGCU, I need the hours, it's a requirement and it's course related, but I chose the Gift of Life specifically because of how dedicated they are to this cause. And while it's not related to my major, I have always been invested in health and people's wellness because of family reasons, personal life, and I've never been able to do much to actually work alongside of it. And the gift of life gave me that opportunity even if it's not involving the exact same thing. This is something that people need in their daily lives that most people don't think of, and it's the difference between life and death for them. And that's part of why I also chose to become a swab donor. I did the swab kit and I'll be on the donor registry. And I did that because even after this course is over, I'll be honest, that I probably won't have the time and the ability to dedicate a lot of myself to volunteering or working with organizations. So joining the registry, even years from now, will give me that opportunity to still be dedicating myself to part of this, saving people's lives even if I'm not actively out there. It's something that I really value and I'm really happy to have done and I'd recommend a lot more people to do it if they have the opportunity. So why did I decide to swab and become a donor? So I became a donor back in August when I first heard of Gift of Life at the Service Learning Fair. They asked me, would you like to become a donor? And two things went through my head. I have two sort of quotes that I live by. Always help others in everything I do. And the second is to do unto others as I want done to me. So I put myself in someone else's shoes. I reverse the roles. If I were the one in need of a life-changing procedure because I had leukemia or another blood disease and someone else was standing at the table, I would want them to swab to potentially be my match. So I thought, well then yes, I need to swab because 
that's what I would want someone else to do. And the second is I always have had a passion for helping others and this was just an exceptional opportunity to do that. Whether or not I actually become a donor because I get called as a match or not, I have the possibility to do that for someone else. Hey guys, so I decided to volunteer with Gift of Life because they are an organization that could potentially save someone's life. And what better way of going about doing community service than to save someone's life, you know? I'm, um, I'm majoring in, right now, in integrated studies. But, you know, my plan is to become a nurse and uh, work in the NICU. So years ago, I used to volunteer in the NICU as well. And there were, you know, little babies too that, that had a bloodborne disease. So for example, leukemia. And knowing about this organization now, like puts me in, in these parents' shoes, for example, or even in kid in babies or in kids' shoes where they might lose a family member. You know, you might lose someone that you love because of, of this disease. And just knowing that I could be out there, potentially be someone's match to save someone's life is just, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. I could save someone's life just by simply swabbing my cheek and potentially be a match and, and then be a donor. So that's why I um, decided to choose Gift of Life. I just think what they're doing is um, absolutely amazing. You look angry. See you, it's a requirement. I needed the hours. But this. Have them in that little in credit scene. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all look awkward. Yeah. So we partnered with <laughs> Gift of Life to help. Uh, no, no. You forgot our intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.